All right, Shalom, first and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rekha Kadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And uh, peace, love, and salutation to all you occupants pushing this truth and truth and sincerity. I'm going to start off in 2 Corinthians, the second chapter, verses 11. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. And around this time, the weather's getting warm. You know, it's springtime. The NHL playoffs are in. The NBA playoffs are in. Spring break is here. Baseball season is in. But we're not ignorant of Satan's devices and his distractions as he has. And the majority of our people, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the Hebrew Israelites, they have no clue. All right? But th these lessons are for the elect. Lord willing, we're part of that number. So what I want to get into is an article that I found today from the uh, SHTF plan. Y'all know what SHTF plan means. Uh, Shiznit hits the fan, all right? <laughs> SHTFplan.com. You can go to this for news. I would also suggest uh, Black Listed News, B-L-A-C-K-L-I-S-T-E-D, Listed News, BlacklistedNews.com. They'll give you these articles about what was what's really going on. So it says science is still warning of the next, you see it, the next boogeyman to scare you out of your pants. All right. We've been hearing since the C-19 boogeyman became a fear mongering propaganda tool that the next scary boogeyman is coming. The ongoing rhetoric hasn't stopped and the experts are reissuing the same warning once again and claiming we aren't prepared for what's coming. Now, I, I did mention that the current president of the United States did mention this. You know, it was a slip of the tongue, but I couldn't find the clip. But this is this is pretty much on that same level, so to speak. So they're, they're already warning people of, a, of another so-called boogeyman out here. All right. That's why we're not ignorant of Satan's devices. Now, we know the Lord is going to actually have these uh, plagues out here that's actually going to have people drop dead. All right, but he's using Esau Edom, which is the sword, to basically bring out the, the, the Lord's destruction. We're not giving this devil no credit at all. Right? He's using Esau Edom, the self-proclaimed white man, to do what he does, to do his dastardly, evil, nefarious deeds. All right. Nefarious deeds, excuse me. Not nefarious, nefarious. Sir John Bell, a leading immunologist and a member of the United Kingdom's C19. Juice Task Force during the Boogeyman said it was too easy to dismiss the Boogeyman 19 as a once in a generation crisis. That's probably because people didn't really see that there was anything at all out of the ordinary. And this is three years going in. You still got people that's, you know, still living in 2020 with that, uh, N95 mask, like you got people like th like this guy right here in the illustration wearing an N95 mask and they're driving by themselves in the car. It says, writing for the Independent, Bill warned that it is a question of when, not if, another um, boogeyman strikes, adding that the nation needs to adopt an always-on approach that includes building a more resilient healthcare system, carrying out better surveillance and identifying future threats. And I'm going to say this too. You know, be on the lookout for more uh, C-19 outbreaks. I just saw one last week in India. They said that the C-19 uh, boogeyman is, is rise, it has the rising levels. All right. So th this is still a narrative that Esau Edom is still playing out with this C-19 thing. He could, he could just bring it back like that, you know. Um, it says, because the scriptures say the earth has been given to the hands of the wicked. So he can come up with anything and people will believe it, especially Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. It says, um, despite everything we have learned, we are not ready for the next boogeyman, he wrote. The next boogeyman could be even more devastating than the last. And that's just smoking mirrors. You know, didn't know a million people, uh, over a million people here in Babylon the Great died the boogeyman. That's a damn lot. Now, do I believe people died? Yes, because of those ventilators and whatnot. And this juice that's out here, all right? Not some made-up pandemic that, that originated in Wuhan, China, and two, three months later, uh, 
it was from from a bat suit. Now Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans got 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 a uh, <laughs> got the C nineteen. Get out of here, man. So it says we must be in a constant state of readiness for the next big health crisis. If we do not act now, we will not be forgiven. So this is from shtfplan.com. You can look at it today. This is from uh, it's actually from April nineteenth. Today is the twentieth of April. And I just want to get some scriptures, man, because I'll tell you this lesson in the next episode. You know, just I'm going to say this to myself first and foremost. Um, I'm going to get this scripture right quick. This is Luke um, 21. And um, I'm going to go to verse 19 first. Luke 21 and 19, and your patience possess you, your souls, because we got to be patient out here. There's going to be more idiots out here. All right. If, you know, when these things do happen, all right, they're already talking about there's going to be climate lockdowns. They were saying that in 2021. Now they're letting you know it might be another boogeyman to scare the pants off you, all right? So we got to be patient because we know this is only the beginning of sorrows, like it mentions in Matthew, the 24th chapter. So we got to bear these uh, people out here, all right? And their westernized thinking or their uh, program way of living here in Babylon, a great and abroad, you know, because if it's the next uh, boogeyman, it's going to be worldwide. All right. You know, so we got to be uh, patient out here and, and patiently waiting for our Lord to come back and, and to get rid of this bloody and deceitful man. All right. Luke 21 and um, 36. Watch ye therefore and pray always that you may be able to Excuse me, watch ye therefore. So we got to watch these things and see what these devils do because majority of our people right now, it's like nine o'clock, people getting ready for, um, I mean, the Nets are playing, who, who uh, damn, I'm, the Nets are playing, they don't really matter, man. The NBA playoffs is going on and Jacob's going to be talking about that tomorrow. Meanwhile, they thought that this whole C night, this whole C boogeyman thing is over with. No, it's not. <laughs> This man got something drastically up his sleeve, man. That's why we say you got to watch this devil, man. Watch you therefore and pray always that you may be a accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and stand before the Son of Man. So we got to watch as well as pray. Pray that had that spirit on us to keep on watching and keep on praying. All right. Um, let me go to Revelation 12. This is just real quick, man. The next episode is coming. You know, this man got something up his sleeve. It's been three years since he scared the pants out of you people. You know, brothers and someone in the know-how, it was like, it was like, okay, man. We, you know what I'm saying? Like, we, me personally, I thought it was over in 2020 and 2021, but three years later, we're still here. So, you know, we had to learn how to adjust and how to deal in this society even more. You know, we had to make calculated moves and move certain different ways. More of it's coming, you know? Uh, you gotta be strategic out here in, in Babylon. It's great. You got you gotta know how to get in and get out with these folks, man. You know, uh, be a user of this world and not an abuser because these people, man, they about to turn up another notch. <laughs> Look what happened. These people were bugging out during 2020. I was thinking about that one woman, man. Um, man, it was a lot of women on. It was a lot of you celebrities that was just bugging out. Now where are you at? You know what I'm saying? A lot of you, a lot of you know that you're Hebrew Israelites and you proclaimed it. During 2020, where the hell you at now? Going back to doing the same wickedness you were doing in 2019. It says, uh, Revelation 12 and 12, Therefore rejoice you heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he have but a short time. Let's get this word devil. All right, because it's not some guy with a pitchfork in hell. Pitching you and your behind while you burning in hell. Okay. So let's get this word. I think it's Diabolos. All right. Strong's G1228. Diabolos. 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 It says, prone to slander, slanderous, accusing falsely. Now, didn't they get this Dr. Phony guy? And it's been known that this guy has been lying to the people for the past three years. Dr. Fauci, Dr. Phony, all right? That man was prone to slander and falsely accusing people of having this boogeyman. 
especially you so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. A commentator, false accuser, slanderer. That, that's vocab Malone, all right? Metaphor applied to a man who, by opposing the cause of God, may be said to act the part of the devil or to side with him. That's talking about Esau Edom, the self-proclaimed white man, the one who legalizes uh, men to marry men and women to marry women, the one who makes up these false boogeymans to get you to take the juice so you can drop dead, all right? This is who we're talking about, not some... Uh, Greco Roman made up character. This is actually a real man on the earth right now. All right. And he's trying to get rid of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. All right. And I won't be surprised. His ne next boogeyman, they're going to go all hell on you, Jakes, man. All right. This time it's not going to be you just going to sit in your house. It's probably going to be like China, man. They're going to start taking people to these detainment centers, asking them questions, seven right for your families. And that's what we try to tell our people, man. Don't trust this devil. Well, everything is good right now. It's about to be summertime. You know, it's about to be hot. And people ain't paying attention to what's going on in the news, man. You know? That's why you got the servants, the prophets out here to warn you. All right? It was the spirit of the Lord that got on me to look up this article in my leisure time. Now I'm doing a lesson on it. But what, what does Jake do? Oh, man, you know, game two of the... Lakers and the Grizzlies, you know, you know, LeBron James and uh, Dylan Brooks got into it. You know what I'm saying? That That's on a Jake's mind when he wakes up in the morning. ESPN, Stephen A. Smith, Skip and Shannon, they're not paying attention to what's going on in the world. It's one simple type of world news or a, a alternative news article, and Jake could get edified. Jake could get edified by watching our videos, but they shun the prophets, man, and that's going to be their to their demise. So we're not worried about these meathead Jake's out here, man. This is for brothers and sisters in the know-how. Now, let's get a few scriptures and psalms and close it on out. Uh, psalms. I'm going to start in Psalms 25. There was one scripture I was reading today. Um, psalms 25. Give me one sec. Yeah. Psalms chapter 25. And... Um, 17 the troubles of my heart are enlarged or oh, bring thou me out of my distresses and that's what we ask the lord to do to get us from this stress this stress called babylon the great because they're going to come up with more stuff more more make make up stuff with these uh boogeyman um pandemics man but at the end of the day the lord controls the whole narrative the lord can have something to where just like in the days of egypt there's going to be something that's going to have people drop dead then you're going to know it's the lord well it's the lord it's ultimately the Lord anyways, but, you know, you got Esau, Edom, and his sloppy narratives, man. It says, look upon my affliction and my pain and forgive all my sins. That's what we're looking. We want the Lord to forgive our sins. All right. <clears throat> Consider my enemies, for they are many. All right. They're plotting on you right now. They're plotting on us right now. That's why we got to pray to the Lord to avenge us of this devil. Hell, even two thirds of our people and other heathen nations, man. And they hate me with cruel hatred. Yeah, these higher ups that come up with this stuff in the lab and they, they get a phony ass doctor in front of you, they hate you. All right. It's not for your benefit. Nothing that this devil does is for our benefit. Oh, keep my soul and deliver me. Let me not be ashamed for I put my trust in thee. Let integrity and uprightness preserve me for I wait on thee. That's, there goes another scripture on waiting on the Lord. Redeem Israel, O Yahweh, out of all his troubles. And we want to be redeemed of all, all, all our troubles here in Babylon the Great and wherever brothers is at. All right. So we have many enemies that we can't even see, man. And then I'm going to get another one. Um, what is it? Micah 2? Yeah, Micah 2 and 1. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hands. Right. Excuse me. These uh, elites of Esau are coming up with something right now. All right. Probably coming up with the next boogeyman and they're getting all their staff to get people ready, man. You you gotta you gotta think about that with this devil, man. All right. Um that's another one. Arise Micah two and ten. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. 
Uh, my, many of my other lessons, man, people walking around here, our people walking around here with flip flops down here in the South, we call them slides. You know what I'm saying? Well, slides everywhere, man. Slides. We, I'll be seeing Jake with slides at camp. And I'm like, if something happened, man, you're going to be running barefooted. Because I'm flip flops ain't going to last too long, man. These people are totally at ease, man. They forgot about the boogeyman. All right. But the Lord put the spirit on this devil to come up with some more boogeyman to scare the pants off you people then it's oh god oh god we need to we need to get back to god it was too late it was too late we was out there telling you during the boogeyman all right when they were trying to tell us to stand six feet apart we was out there telling you people what it was with this devil arising and depart for this is not your rest because it is polluted this place is polluted man all the, this whole place is polluted man it shall destroy you even with a sore destruction all right, back to Psalms. I just wanted to get that through the spirit. Um, it was one of one of Psalms twenty seven. I'll close it out. But more thing, more more of this uh, boogeyman, scandemic, pandemic, whatever you want to call it, is coming back, man. Like I said, they can even do climate lockdowns, man. All right, this devil will come up with anything. All right, uh, Psalms twenty seven. Um, yeah, <clears throat> Psalms 27 and 11, teach me thy way, O Yahweh, and lead me in a plain path because of my enemies. If you don't know you have enemies, man, like I said, this, this lesson is not for people in the world, man, unless the spirit of the Lord is waking you up. Jake don't think they have enemies anymore. You see all these instances of so-called white people call, calling Jake nigger. And there was one where this guy in Oklahoma said he wanted to lynch black people, but y'all fighting for equality and you want to be equal with the devil? The same man who kisses his dog in the mouth, doesn't wipe his hands when he goes to the bathroom? This is who these jakes want to be equal to? I don't think so, man. It says, deliver me not un over unto the will of my enemies. And a lot of our people are going to get delivered up to the enemy because they trust in oppression. They trust whatever this man says on the TV with this fake boogeyman pandemic to scare the pants out of you people man for false witnesses are risen up against me these false doctors these false narratives oh yeah there's there's a million cases of such and such here in this particular black part of the city you know they're going to be coming up with all types of narratives man that's why we keep telling brothers to trust in the lord man and lead not to your own understanding because this devil is coming with the whole shebang because he got a short period of time Deliver me not over unto the will of my enemies, for false witnesses are risen up against me. They're gonna say, they're gonna say that the men of the Lord is doing this and that on the streets. We're doing this, that, and the third. It's just false, false witnesses, man. I mentioned Vocab Malone. He he's doing something wicked behind closed doors right now. We speak because he's the devil too. It says, Deliver me not over unto the will of my enemies, for false witnesses are risen up against me, and such as breathe out cruelty. Right. Verse 13, I have fainted unless I have believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. This is one of my favorite new scriptures, man. Wait on the Lord. So we got to wait on the Lord. We can't take action to our own hands. All right. Be of good courage and he shall strengthen thy heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. So the Lord is going to strengthen our wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Hell, he's even going to give us spiritual powers to... To, to brothers. So we got to wait on the Lord, man, because this devil, he got a short period of time, man. We know what the MO with this guy is, man. He's going he gonna to run that same old play, man. You know, like the college football team, the child's run that same play, and they the other team still can't get over it. They're going to keep running that same play. They're going to keep throwing that running back at you like a Derrick Henry and just roll you over. That's what this devil's trying to do with this, this boogeyman uh to scare the pants off you people, man. But we're not ignorant to say his devices. So that's the lesson that I have for the day. Lord, one is edifying. Brothers and sisters, stay strong in the faith. And uh, shalom.